Today I'm going to show you how to make your own cut settings in Cricut Design Space. Now Design Space has piles of settings, but sometimes what you need just isn't there. So I'm going to show you how to make your own. If we're just meeting right now, my name is Nisha. Welcome to Little Craft Nest. Let's jump onto the computer and make some of our own settings. Let's say you want to make some Cricut Cutie stickers. So let's click on make it and then continue. So I'm not actually going to print these out right now because this is just an example. So I'm going to click on I've already printed and here is where we set our base material. Now Cricut has a whole pile of different materials that you can use for your project. So if we click on browse all materials, you will see them all listed here and they're all categorized. Now, what if you don't see the material on here that you're working with? Let's say you're not using Cricut material. Maybe you got some sticker paper off of Amazon. Maybe you want to laminate that sticker paper. So now you have two materials together that you want your machine to cut all the way through. So as you're scrolling, you just don't see what you want. And you also don't know what the pressure setting is for each of these materials. So if we go down below the list here and we click on material settings, you'll see a whole list of materials all in alphabetical order with their cut pressure setting. So if we look at the first one here, we have acetate and the cut pressure is 319 and it has multiple cuts. So that means it will go around our sticker and cut it out two times. Now if it says off beside it, like it says for adhesive foil, that just means that your blade is only going to go around that cut line once. Now let's say you were working with acetate, but the acetate you have, you find this cut setting a little too weak. What you can do is click on edit and then you could move this dial up. Maybe you want to move it up to 325 and you could save the pressure setting for acetate. I'm not going to do that right now, so I'm just going to click on cancel. Now let's say you were making holographic stickers. So if you keep scrolling down here, we have a whole pile of different holographic settings. We have a holographic cardstock and holographic heat transfer, holographic iron on. So as you're looking at the different settings here, you might notice that holographic vinyl, the pressure setting is at 152. So maybe you go and try out that setting, but you realize it didn't quite cut all the way through your sticker. So then you go and you decide to try holographic sparkle vinyl and you see that the pressure setting is at 164, but you find that pressure setting a little too strong. So what you can do is go make your own pressure setting. So if we scroll all the way down to the bottom, we can click on add new material. And here you can call your material whatever you want to call it. So we can type in holographic sticker and you could even write the brand of the material you're using so you'll know for next time. And then click on save. And Cricut just automatically moved our new material setting right into alphabetical order here with our other options. So holographic vinyl was at 152 and hypothetically we're saying that was too weak and the sparkle vinyl was 164 and hypothetically we're saying that's too strong. So maybe you want to make this 160. So you can slide this dial down to 160 and then you can choose how many times your blade goes over that cut line. So right now that's turned off, but if you wanted to do that more than once, you could select two times and up to nine times, depending on the material you're working with. We're gonna keep that off. And then you can also select the blade you're working with. So you can click on fine point blade, your deep point blade, or the rotary blade. Once you have your settings set up the way you want them, you can press save. So let's say you're using your holographic sticker setting that you made and it was at 160 and you still found that wasn't quite right. You can always go back and edit those settings. So let's go out of here just by clicking off the screen here. And then you can go browse your materials again. So browse all materials, type in your holographic 
And then here is the setting we made right here, holographic sticker. Now, if you wanted to bookmark this as one of your favorites, you can do that simply by clicking on the little bookmark there, and then you can click on done. And now you're ready to cut out your stickers. Now, under set base material, if we click on that again, and under bookmark materials, you'll see your new bookmark material setting right here. And so you'll be able to find that a lot quicker, especially if it's a material that you use often. Now, this was just an example. I haven't actually tested this cut setting with any specific material, but when I do make videos, I do tell you the cut settings that I use for that project. If you do wanna make some fun glow-in-the-dark holographic stickers, I do have a video on that, and I did many, many, many test cuts for that project, but I do tell you my cut settings. So if you wanna watch that, I'll leave that link down below in the description, and I hope to see you on more crafting adventures.